guys and welcome back to yet another video of one hour one life today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make stews so I am in my little section here where we can have everything we possibly need for stews to get any of these seeds you just need to go to the savannah biome and you'll find all three plants to plant corn beans and the squash all in the savannah biomes and that's where you find the bunnies as well so just so you know that's where you'll go get them but we are already set up right here so i am just going to show you how we will start so first you need a pot okay we have a pot already these are the tools you want to have on hand you want to either have a stone hatchet or an axe most of the time people take off with the axes so it can be hard to find but if there's one close by in the town you are in then by means use an axe otherwise if there's a hatchet close by use a hatchet you also are going to need a sharp stone and a round stone as well as a couple of bowls you need about two bowls and one plate and either a bucket of water or some kind of water source like a small shallow well a duck pond or a deep well which that's when you'll need the, the bucket to get the water out of once you got all of that then the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have picked some corn if there isn't one already pick a corn off the cob usually you will just pick the whole lot use a flint chip and just open it up like so and you'll have to wait so this is it's just you can eat this like this but we don't want to eat it like that we also can't use it for stew here's one that i already had that's dried you want one that is dried dried corn all right we are not using that first though first thing you want to grab is a squash so you cut it down with a sharp stone grab your plate place that down on the floor pick up your squash put it on your plate then once it's on the plate you want to get either your axe or your hatchet and you just want to kapow break it up and now you have uh, squash chunks then place that straight into your crock pot with the seeds you maybe know, just put it to the side or put it in a bowl if you have no more uh, seeds now I don't have any more seeds so I'm going to grab another bowl and then I'm just going to put, put that straight into the bowl and that can be ready to plant later on when I put more soil on this the next step is the longest step you want to grab yourself another bowl and you want to pick all the beans a full bush is filling up the whole bowl I'm going to pull it all in there until the bowl is no longer done now mind you you cannot pick this bowl up when it's like this see it just takes the beans straight out so the only other way you could pick that up is if you had something else to swap it around and you can pick it up that way then you want to take it straight down to your smooth stone either you could have had that in your pocket or your backpack or had one close on hand but I didn't and then we just smash it smash that beans then once we've done that we then have to come over to the plate put it on the plate swap them around put it back into the bowl all right we are now done with the plate so let's put that back on the pile next step is we need another bowl and we need some water we then have to put the water into the bowl swap it around put it back to drain the water out and we are now done we can now put our beans straight into the crock pot next thing you want to do is use that same bowl swap it with your corn put your corn in there then you want to get your flint chip which i should have left down here but i left it up here grab your flint chip so that's another tool you needed and uh, yes break down your corn swap it around put that straight into your crock pot grab your water that you already had put that into your crock pot and we are done that's as simple as that simple as that then you want to cook this on hot coals so make yourself a fire and wait until the fire goes out and it's hot coals and you want to place that straight on to your fire so let's go and get some supplies for a fire uh, we'll take the crock pot with this no i want to cook the, the the crock pot over here so give us a sec let's go through my little town straight up here this is where our main fire and all this main fire stuff is don't mind the decaying baskets <laughs> so we're going to start the fire here so we're going to get ourselves some tinder take off this branch but we don't need that get ourselves a leaf where's our fire burrow drill up here someone's used it it's all good and then 
I'm going to use it on the long shaft. Get a leaf onto the long shaft. Put it onto the tinder. Put the leaf down. Grow ourselves some kindle, tinder, and straight onto the fire. All right. Now we need to have some more. Oh, I can't put this in my pouch, can I? Cannot do that. So I'm going to be quick. If we grab this, light this on fire. May not make it. May not make it. May not make it. But we're going to go as quick as we can. Come on. Run right through. Quickly place this down. I'm just going to grab this branch. Alright, put it back on here. Alright. Yay! Alright, so we're just going to wait for that to die down. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so the fire has gone down. See, now it says hot coals. Get your crock pot and just click, click it, like left click it straight onto your hot coals. That will cook away and then when done, you just have to use a bowl and you'll be able to grab yourself um, some stew to eat. And you get about, I think, four, three to four helpings of stew out of one bowl. Can't quite remember. I've never really counted, but I think it's between three to four helpings of stew and that's about it guys so i hope this was explained easy enough and um yeah enjoy the game here we go one mm -mm -mm. stew in my belly guys <laughs> okay guys i'll catch you next time bye